that name the fire of the Holy Spirit will begin to rest upon people and bring deliverances for them of all sorts in the name of Jesus I decree and declare at the count of three every demonic spirit that has tied down lives and destinies masquerading as physical problems you must go right now are you ready one two three shout Jesus shout Jesus let them go release their destinies 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 right now outside inside everywhere i decree and declare release their destinies by the power of the holy ghost please bring them out very quickly release their destinies in the name of jesus christ I tell you fire is falling in this place in the name of Jesus please bring them out very quickly I decree and declare we are still praying every family that is under demonic siege kept in one place no movement no progress right now the anointing of the spirit is fishing out every demon spirit behind the retrogression of families are you ready to shout jesus again lord every family under attack we bring the spirits behind it under arrest at the count of three one two three shout jesus release the families now release the families now release the families now release the destinies now in the name of jesus christ open your mouth and begin to declare your release open your mouth and begin to declare by the blood of the eternal covenant i declare liberty for my life liberty for my family liberty Liberty, liberty, liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still praying. The Lord is speaking to me and He's saying, Remove the mark of disfavor. There are many physically, there is nothing wrong with you. But in the realm of the spirit, there is a mark of disfavor around you that even when you go where you should be blessed, it looks like you are despised. I don't know who I'm praying for, but fire is coming on someone now. In the name of Apakatos Katapata, every mark of disfavor at the count of three, that mark must let you go now. One, two, three. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Career disfavor. Marital disfavor. Financial disfavor. Be removed from your life. hallelujah you see let me tell you the truth look up please this favor is a very terrible thing when a man does not carry the favor of god in his life you are not going to be able to make progress the number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God. Favor with God and favor with men. I still want to pray that prayer. Don't be tired. Because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives. There are many people it should not be so. No! Your life can't be indefinitely tied down. Nobody thinking about you to help you. Nobody calling for your help. I say it again. What is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you? By the power of the Holy Ghost, I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your destiny right now.
Haleluya. Haleluya. The spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection. That is about the worst spirit that can rest upon anyone. Be delivered from it now. 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 It's a miracle service. Whatever is making people reject you, I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed from your life. Rejecting you in office, rejecting you everywhere. In the name of Jesus, be free from it right now. Hallelujah. Now hear me, please pay attention. I don't know what connection you have with the spirit of the dead. Seeing them in your dreams. Can I tell you? In most cases, all these dreams with dead people calling you and is a demonic thing. It doesn't mean every dead face. Of course, there are spirits of just men made perfect. But it is the devil in most cases masquerading to reinitiate the process of untimely death. Let me pray for a family here or a destiny that is under siege. You have been having dreams of dead people calling you. You have no business. Listen, the living and the dead have nothing in common. I pray for you by the fire that is of the Holy Ghost. Oh, death, oh, death, oh, death, oh, death. Oh, death. Oh, death. Release the families now. Release God's people now. Oh, grave, take your hands away from their destinies. Take your hands away from their families. Take your hands away. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all those in front here, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The spirits that oppress you, I command them to leave you now. I command them to leave you now. I bring you liberty by the power of the blood of Jesus. There is a family here. God is bringing deliverance particularly to the ladies. There is a spirit that never allowed the ladies, I'm seeing the ladies to move forward. Even when they settle down, they must return back to their husband's homes. I don't know who that is, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is telling me the ladies, it is like the, 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 the female part of the family. I command that spirit because you came here tonight. I don't care how long that covenant has stayed. It is hereby broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Please help them at the back. Broken now. Hallelujah. Broken by the power of the Holy Spirit. Release them now. And then the spirit that makes women the men in a, in a family and turns the men is like it reverses it. When it has to do with responsibility and provision, the wife is the husband and then the husband is just a figurehead there. I decree and declare that demonic anomaly, we exchange it back to its proper place. We exchange it back to its proper place. Hear me. Hear me. Any man here that is not able to cater for your family, by the anointing of the spirit, I empower your hand to be productive. I empower your hand to be productive. The honor and the dignity that comes with being a man, let it speak in your life. And I pray for every woman here, 
that you have been carrying an extra luggage that you have no business carrying based on God's order in the name of Jesus for your sake may God empower your husband for your sake may God empower the men in your life may that grace rest upon you 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 in the name of jesus christ number two from across the seven continents of the earth anyone who has been mandated to reach you for your rising whatever barrier is stopping them from reaching you i take it out of the way now i take it out of the way now number three the grace for visibility whatever has closed your glory so that your works and your excellence is not seen especially by those who can celebrate god with you and even re reward you i declare may that grace cause your face to be seen may that grace cause your voice to be heard in the name of jesus christ number three i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit the riches and the blessings that are connected to every territory in this case abuja here or whatever territory you are coming from i declare the bible says the increase of the earth is for all that even the king is fed by the increase of the field your portion in this land or wherever you are represented i command it to locate you i command it to gravitate towards you in the name of jesus christ number four i pray for your family if it is well with you and it is not well with your family then it is not well with you i pray for you all your siblings your parents your loved ones all who are connected to you by natural descent by blood and by responsibility none of them will go down none of them will go down none of them will fall by the wayside in the name of jesus christ Hear me, Koinonia, let a mark and a mantle of honor, let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your destiny. Everyone who is in ministry here, and it looks like ministry is barren, unfruitful, you love God, you are serving him with integrity of heart, but there are no results that follow your loving and serving Jesus. In the name of Jesus, begin to command unusual results begin to command unusual results i separate you from the company of wicked and unreasonable people in the name of jesus christ and i speak over your life that anyone who fights you goes down instantly in the name of jesus christ I pray for our children. We prayed for our children already, but we're praying for our children. Koinonia children will be known for excellence. Koinonia children will be known for diligence. They will love the Lord and they will be outstanding. I pray for every professional here. Anyone here who is in the career path, especially a professional, in the name of Jesus, I forbid you from remaining at the same position. Business people, hear me. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the grace that helps men prosper. Everyone in business here, I place an anointing upon you. Go and prosper. 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 Anyone here in need of a job, I declare may your supernatural job locate you. Shame and reproach is finally terminated from your life. Now, let me speak over your spiritual life. This is a major prayer point. I've spoken about the things that pertain to life. Let me now speak about the things that pertain to godliness. Because this is very important. Anything eating up your prayer life. 
so that your passion and your zeal for fellowship and prayer has gone down or you are not interested in spiritual things again receive the fire of revival now whatever spirit ties you and does not allow you to stand up to take your place like a priest and pray against demonic things i decree and declare right now let fresh fire come upon your altar number two your word study life please hear me you cannot afford to live in ignorance the secret of dominion is access to light and even understanding in the name of Jesus the grace to be a student of scripture the grace to be given to doctrine to learning may that mantle rest upon you now for those of you who love Jesus but your company is full of bad and destructive people may my God separate you right now in the name of Jesus Christ edit your friends edit your relationships make sure love everybody mean everybody well but protect your focus protect your vision and make sure you surround yourself with people who are going where you are going in the name of Jesus Christ there will be no obituary from any family I say it again there will be no obituary from any family whether by road whether by air whether by sea be protected in the name of Jesus listen to me I want to start with impartation for ministers of the gospel everybody will receive but particularly you are you are a minister of the gospel let your heart be open I want to release a grace upon you ministers of the gospel it's time to do this powerlessness in the church if we do not drive it away by the introduction of genuine graces the purposes of God and the program of God will suffer I call upon the God of my covenant and in the name of Jesus I declare for everyone called into ministry the mantle and the grace needed take it now 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 the grace needed for efficiency receive it in the name of Jesus hear me if you are a prophet here may your eyes and your ears be opened supernaturally may a mantle come upon you male and female may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the healing anointing I'm seeing fire coming on the hands of people I don't know who you are but drink of that fountain in the name of Jesus Christ drink of that fountain a new wave of the healing anointing a new wave of the healing anointing I release it upon you I, re I release it upon you take that grace now signs and wonders I shift you into a ministry of signs and wonders potent signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ that through your hands the blind will see through your hands the deaf will hear through your hands cripples will walk in the name of Jesus Christ hear me every dimension of the gift of the Spirit that is missing in your life but required for your destiny I'm telling you I'm seeing like candles I'm seeing candles in the spirit and fire is coming on those candles this is what I'm seeing it looks like Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 that Pentecost fire let it come upon you now that Pentecost fire let it come upon you now Pentecost fire with proof in your spiritual life I'm still praying for everyone but particularly ministers of the gospel the spirit of revelation superior illumination into scripture 
I tell you, men and women will teach scripture like never before. The word of God will open up to you. You will communicate doctrine and the mysteries of scripture with precision and exactitude. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace, the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus Christ. Every altar that has been barren of power from any man or woman of God here in the name of Jesus return back to your various stations with fire return back to your various stations with fire in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord Let's do the finance one now. Father, it is your desire for your people to prosper. Even in this season. And many of them have come from situations right now where except you help and show mercy. Certain financial doors may not seem to be opened. But in the name of Jesus, you have orchestrated this service for the mysterious lifting of men therefore the grace component required for your financial exploits receive it now hmm. Hmm. receive it now receive it now hear me there are many of you by reason of this impartation a strange order of wisdom is resting on your mind superior strategies superior ideas in the name of Jesus Christ and every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here I don't care for how long it has been. I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please be silent. I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now. Just be silent. You don't say you've prayed. This is the instruction God is giving me. I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies and usually I will ask you to shout but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent in the name of Jesus father even as you have instructed everyone here and every family here under the influence of wicked spirits yokes covenants aha uh -huh, in the name of Jesus Christ I'm telling you there's there's such fire that is moving in the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance for such people. Supernaturally. Please bring them out. Whether for individuals or families, very quickly, men and women, everything that has tied your progress, I decree and declare right now, be released. Be released. Be released. Please bring them out. My God, fire is falling in this place. Bring them quickly. Ancestry, yokes of darkness. You may not even know that is the cause. The Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing someone like a chain around your waist. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be broken now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your siblings. The blood is speaking against it now. The apakosh ketepata. The blood is speaking against it now.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please bring them out quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Lord is saying he's opening graves. I don't know what this means, but in the name of Jesus, every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry, I stretch my hands. Fire, fire begins to burn everything that is not of God. Bring them out. Let it destroy the works of darkness. Let it destroy the works of darkness. Connected to ancestry. Connected to the spirits of the dead. Be delivered now. I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Sanakos kedila sobe shalakros kevaniata engroto sode balakusia. Every two two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now, right now. I break that chain of that pattern, that pattern of death. Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has vowed that you must die this year. I don't know where you are. But in the name of Jesus, I want to rebuke that influence over your life. And I hope you know that as you are standing here, you can stand in for your loved ones too. Wherever they are. Spirit of death, I speak to you. You know my voice. Anyone whose destiny you have hijacked, release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Negative and demonic dreams. Seeing yourself in the past. Past schools. Writing exams that never finish. All kinds of satanic things. Everything that connects you negatively to yesterday. Be set free right now. Please help them. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Hear me. The Lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again. You go to bed and you see yourself doing things you had done before. Levels you have left. According to scripture, believers don't go backward. We only go forward. Every spirit drawing you back. I break you from their influence now. Let me tell you this, hear me. I hope you know I used to have those experiences myself before. You've heard my story. As a man of God though, not just a, an, an ordinary believer. I used to have those experiences where demons would come and press me and all those things. I would shout Jesus, shout Jesus, nothing will happen. That is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people, I do it with passion because I've been a victim of oppression. Again, let me speak to someone. 
you have prayed you have fasted you have tried and yet nothing has changed in the name of Jesus this night be delivered permanently 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 hallelujah don't be tired i'm seeing in a vision this is what i'm seeing the hands of people tied how can a man move like this with your hands tied how can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus let fire from heaven your hand is a symbol of your productivity you may even have a job yet your hands are tied i don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied at the count of three shout jesus and your deliverance comes one two three shout jesus be delivered now i break those chains i break them from your hands i break those chains i break them from your hands Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a door. And I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door. And according to the vision I'm seeing, trying to force the door to open. And some are even crying. And I'm seeing people dropping, like dying. Yet that door is not opened. I believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression that doors and I believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood there are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door you can go abroad you can school like this our dear woman the professor that came to give a testimony let me open that door prophetically I taught you at the beginning of this year that there are three ways doors are open number one is by the use of the right key number two is by knocking the ministry of men but number three by force and power let me use number three because when those doors open they open from their foundations i decree and declare every generational door that has closed i stand and as an apostle of the lord jesus christ let that door be open now i break that door now Generational doors be open, be open, be open. Ephata, be open, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service. Hear me, you see, when a door is open or broken. The most important thing is that the right of way has been given. You will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you. In the name of Jesus, for all who are in front here, I declare prophetically that God who has located you, you have come out by the anointing, the spirits that oppress you, I declare the count of three in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. They release you once and for all. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Release them now. Out of their lives. Never to return again. In the name of Jesus. The son sets them free. And we declare as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are free forever. They are free forever. They are free forever. In the name of Jesus please hear me I told you that I have discerned that among the many things that God is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability 
you see the teachings that I've been bringing. These are not just teachings that are coming carelessly. Because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of Christ, please hear me, is death through sickness. Mysteriously, people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for. Are we together now? It is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing and to be able to communicate God, God's intent for his people. So this prayer for healing, we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone. You can always register your testimony, but I want to pray with you. Listen, if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick, please, as I'm praying, connect with them so that they don't die for nothing. And for those who are connecting from any hospital, our teaching hospitals, private hospitals, now is the time. It's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith. Please connect. We're, we're, we're talking now under the influence of the anointing. Lay your hands on your chest. If you have a medical report, bring it out. I'm about to pray. That devil must let you go. Must let your children go. Please place your hand right now. I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then we'll pray. Praises to your name, O oh God. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. Place your hand there. I sing praises to your name, O oh God. Praises to your name, O oh God, for your name is great and greatly. We lift your name. As I pray for you, I shout the name of Jesus. I want you to thunder a loud amen. Let the devil and let that sickness know. I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again. I speak as one sent from God. May that spirit leave your body now. That devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe, to South Africa, to Kenya, to Zimbabwe, to Ghana, to Lagos, to Abuja, to Joss, to Kano. Let the healing power of God begin to flow right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Blood conditions be healed now. Cancer die now. HIV be healed now. 
blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now blind eyes partial or complete blindness we command that you open now deaf ears be open now anyone here suffering from the issue of blood I declare be healed right now every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body there is someone fire is coming on you there's movement all over your body you literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now There's someone you are having a problem with your heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. The Lord is showing me a woman in a vision. It started like having, you know how you have cold, maybe a flu or something, and then you lose your voice. But till now, your voice is not restored. This has, this has become months. You know, most times people just take maybe lemon, warm water or something, some, you know, and, and then eventually their voices, their, their, the sound returns. But for this woman, your, your, your voice refused to return back. So you speak as though you are whispering. It's a demonic thing. I restore your speaking now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman, you are laying your hands right now. You are in this place. You are laying your hands upon your daughter, your little baby. There's been a mysterious sickness. You don't even know why. She's losing appetite. She's not eating. She's not, not sucking, not doing all of that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that little baby be healed right now. Now, whether I've mentioned your case or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. The Lord is showing me a plot by darkness to take someone's father and mother the same day. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. A mysterious sickness just destroying both of them. Like in this, not accident. Like that, just, you know, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare we extend their life to its fullest. You will not lose any of your loved ones again. Therefore be healed. Be perfected. There's someone you have, your own is not heart palpitations. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm just sharing what the Lord is showing me. Your heart is not pumping blood properly. This is what is wrong with you. I may not know the, the medical name of that situation, but it makes you dizzy. It, I mean, it's, it's like the, the case that I mentioned earlier here. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. Whatever blockage is around your heart, that extends to your veins, your arteries, whatever is stopping the normal blood flow to supply oxygen to the body. In Jesus' name, we declare supernaturally, let there be healing. Let there be healing.
but I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a spirit of bad luck. Yes. Huh? That people just, people hate you, yes. people reject you, yes. people fight you, yes. and they give meaning to you, something that is not yes. And there are many people who have that kind of thing. Anybody who is being perceived wrongly in the name of Jesus, that veil that is making men to treat you as the person you are not, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. What's that restore song? Sing it for me. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore. there is a man i will not advise that you come out but i'm seeing the number 59 million you lost 59 million i don't know if it was in an investment or whatever it is but that's why i raised that song for you because the lord is saying he wants to restore you i'm i'm using that man as a point of contact anyone who has lost anyone naira I don't care for no matter how long by the power that raised if you believe in the prophetic then I'm speaking to you between now and the next three months in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let there be supernatural restoration let there be supernatural restoration you will be surprised to see what God will do don't doubt I declare restoration first for the man God revealed to me and then for anyone who is in that condition may my God restore you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you can return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to minister deliverance to the captives. Hmm. As you are standing here, connect your family to yourself by faith. So that what is happening to you, you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them. It is as for me and my house. Me and my house. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus and once you shout that name Jesus please hear me whether you are an elderly person a young person male female within this ground or across the nations of the earth the power of God to deliver to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing that power is about to be released and I want you to believe it please believe it please believe it negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way i decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so i minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout jesus delivered now be delivered now I break those yokes I break those yokes bring them out I break those yokes by the power of the Holy Spirit women be delivered men be delivered firstborns be delivered families be delivered Easternans be delivered, Westernans be delivered, Middle Beltans be delivered, Northernans be delivered. Every familiar spirit roaming around your family and your destiny, we declare let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon your family now. Bring them out. I decree and declare that every manifestation of evil 
around any family here represented affecting women affecting men affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you the lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now the power of god is coming upon such people i'm seeing the number 11 in the name of jesus wherever you are whether within this auditorium the balcony anywhere across in the name of jesus let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now hallelujah gift who is gift i just had the name gift g-i-f-t gift your name is gift gift there is a door that is closed and i'm seeing a hand trying to open that door and the lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny gift this is what i'm hearing father honor your word right now i stretch my hands over gift whether here or anyone whatever is responsible for this closed door let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now, now. self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be open now in the name of jesus let that door be open now over gift whether you or your family in the name of jesus may the god of all grace swing those doors open now hallelujah there are three people in the crowd the congregation the lord is telling me that i should pray for you you are the brain behind many things but every time it's time to be rewarded you are exchanged there is a spirit that always makes that the the honor that should come to you for your sacrifice you are never truly seen in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number three i don't know who that person is whatever makes a replacement whenever honor comes it's like you are being replaced and the wrong people are lifted instead of you in jesus name someone is by the pillar i'm seeing an anointing by the pillar there is someone you are one of them the hand of god is upon you may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now that puts you in your rightful place in life and destiny in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing in a vision the name un and the lord is saying someone is going to get a job un united nations now you will come and testify here i prophesy it in the name of jesus god who revealed it may he put it in your hands i say it again god who revealed it i'm seeing un the logo of un united nations may god no matter where you are may god use people to connect you to it in the name of jesus my dear look at me this lady release this family now in the name of jesus I decree and declare for those of you who are in front here you are delivered now please those who are up make sure they don't fall down so if they are under the anointing just guide them in the name of Jesus you are delivered now you are delivered forever in Jesus name 13 years no promotion 1 3 13 years you've not been promoted the Lord is showing me an individual in a vision for 13 years you've not been promoted and the Lord is saying I should speak to you I want to speak to you by the Spirit listen when you hear prophetic words come like this don't downplay them a lot happens in the realm of the Spirit when a word is released 
are we together now there are angels that excel in strength and their assignment is to sit with that's why you see people come to testify and they will tell you this one happened this one happened don't be an unbeliever 13 years you have not been promoted i want to pray for you father look upon whoever this person is is this a lady This is not the person I'm seeing, but I will still pray for you. In the name of Jesus, 13 years, no promotion. Father, honor your word. For this individual, using this one in front as a point of contact, I decree and declare that not only will you be promoted, may God restore you. May God restore you. May God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God restore you. I'm hearing the name tuberculosis in the name of Jesus one of your loved one has tuberculosis and the Lord is telling me he wants to heal that person tuberculosis I'm even seeing that the person coughs out blood sometimes and you know chunks of blood comes out I'm hearing tuberculosis in the name of Jesus anyone here on ground or scattered across suffering from tuberculosis I declare be healed now now all those who are connecting from any hospital or those here trusting God for healing lay your hands now very quickly where you are trusting God for a miracle I have taught you that faith demands the power of God demands that you engage if it's your eyes lay your hands there expecting to be healed if it's your ears lay your hands there if it's your neck if it's a part of your body that is sensitive just lay your hand on your chest as a point of contact by the way you can stand for someone you don't have to be the one who is sick you can stand in for someone releasing your faith i want to pray here's what will happen as soon as i pray and make declarations already there are many people that the power of god has touched I will pray for you doesn't matter what the situation is I don't have to call it I want you to believe by faith check yourself the moment you see that a miracle has happened very quickly I want you to leave your seat and come to the front either by my left or my right I want to seal your miracle as we take a few testimonies and then I will share with you something and then begin to pray over um, the various issues in your life that are not related to sickness but I want to pray for the sick now please lay your hands believe I sing praises to your name oh God praises to your name oh God for your name is great and greatly to be praised there is a man immediately I'm seeing your case um, what you have is a situation of infertility that is peculiar to men you have had this for a long time in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you now Amen. the Lord is bringing restoration now Amen. now I decree and declare anyone who is sick here in your body in this auditorium all the overflows those connecting stretch your hands in the name of Jesus for those who are outside of this auditorium you can stretch your hands by faith I decree and I declare now let the healing power of Jesus coming like rain coming like fire let it rest upon the various parts of your body and I declare instant miracles now instant miracles now blind eyes be open now hearing problems deaf ears be open now any part of your body you could not move in jesus name i command it to begin to move there's someone you came here with severe breathing problems in the name of jesus as i pray begin to breathe you find out that there's freedom there's liberty you are able to breathe normally peptic ulcer be healed now hallelujah i don't know I'm not a medical doctor I don't know if there is a relationship between hepatitis and yellow eyes I just saw a vision I saw somebody whose eyes is yellow and I'm seeing hepatitis in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is right now the healing power of Jesus is touching you the healing power of Jesus is touching you in the name of Jesus there is someone 
you have something called um, a urinary infection you can go it embarrasses you sometimes if you don't rush to the bathroom you can ease yourself even before you get to the bathroom this is i don't I, I believe that this is some medical condition wherever you are in the name of jesus now i am praying for you let that demonic sickness that has brought you embarrassment let it leave you now in the name of jesus there's someone when you go to ease yourself you're also stooling blood it looks like pile in the name of jesus christ I command that devil of pile be free from it this moment be free from it this moment hallelujah someone you are having problem with your teeth one by one they are being pulled out it looks like they are weakening this is what the Lord is showing me it's like the entire your entire um, you know your teeth is is fragile and they've pulled out some but this is something like a cavity problem that is affecting you completely in the name of jesus wherever you are i decree and declare the power of god is touching you this moment be healed in jesus name Amen. esther chapter 2 and verse 15 i call it the esther anointing there is the grace for favor can be imparted mm. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. Something is coming on someone right now. Now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, listen carefully, was come in unto the king. She required nothing but what Haggai the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many? All them that looked upon her. Next verse. The Bible says, so Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus in his royal house in the 10th month, which is the month Tebeth, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. When you read the verses before 15, the Bible says there were many women, and yet Esther went to this strange man called Haggai. He had worked with the king a long time. He knows what the king is looking for. And she asked him, what does the king really want? And Haggai said, there is an oil I will give you. Just keep rubbing on your body for one year. That's all. Forget all this how to work. The Holy Spirit can search the heart of your destiny helper. He knows what he wants. Hear me, my brothers and my sisters. Truly, there is an anointing for favor. There is a grace called favor. The assignment of that grace is to insist on the heart of men. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men towards you and towards your assignment. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace and I stretch my hands first over you here in Abuja our family in Zaria those following from around the globe from America to Europe to Asia the Caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of Jesus the one who has shown us mercy I decree and declare right now receive ye this grace called favor receive ye this grace called favor I place this mantle upon your life take this grace now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the morning experience favor in the afternoon experience favor in the night experience favor in nigeria experience favor in america experience favor in europe experience favor every door 
that needs favor for to be open i declare may favor open that door now hear me every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment i call on my god who is also your god let there be a supernatural reconnection now every door that dishonor has shut that was once open and dishonor shut it by the mercy of the god of david we reopen that door now and in the name of jesus many of you are gifted but the favor to announce you is not there you are so gifted gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift in the name of jesus by the in the name of jesus christ i give your gift visibility now by this gift let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of jesus yes. hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know them international relationships ministerial relationships i declare may that connection happen for you now everyone anointed commissioned and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season wherever they are i stand by the prophetic i call them into your life now hear me i stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us and under this corporate anointing i declare in the name of jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of christ find the grace for favor by this grace shame reproach hear ye the word of the lord let god's people go now <laughs> hear me by this grace upon you whoever has forgotten you no matter how long in the name of jesus by favor may the book of remembrance be opened over you now <laughs> in the name of jesus christ therefore my dear people walk in this consciousness don't just share the grace and leave walk in this consciousness that i am anointed walk in this consciousness that i am god's battle axe walk in this consciousness that many destinies depend on me walk in this consciousness that i have received something that i must put to work and as you do that you will see the god of wonder surprise you in the name of jesus christ pray with your gaze upon jesus we bless you 
someone build up yourself even on your most holy faith as you pray in the holy ghost shate gete paratos embra katos kate lakata prate gete balakosia shate parato kasa prate gete balakatosia someone build up yourself someone is praying Shegete patakatos kata pranda gete beleketos. Embra kata parus kadila katosha pranda gete balatosia. That will be built and established. Built and established in knowledge. Built and established in power. Built and established in wisdom. Shate pragete balakata protokoto palare. My spirit man is open open to receive open to be blessed open to be changed open to be healed open to be delivered it's part of the service go ahead and pray if you can hold the hands of someone by your left and right Shake the brandos, the zige the beleke the parada kosi. Shata branda gata prati ge the balaka tosh kate branda ge the ge the balados. Shabrada gata parada gata branda ge the beleke the kosh shada balada bar. Shende branda ge parados ki ata balaka tos. We are ascending dimensions in the spirit, higher levels of wisdom, higher levels of fire. Shapranta kaparagatos koto pronto koto prete gete balakatos. Shege de brandos kezi gete belegete paradakos. Shata branda gata prati gete balakatos kate prete gete gete balados. Shapranta gata parata gata prete gete belegete kos shada balada bar. Shende brande ke paratos ki ata balakatos. They are ascending dimensions in the spirit. Higher levels of wisdom, higher levels of fire. Shapranta kaparagatos koto pronto koto prete gete balakatos. Shete perete gete balakatos kate prete gete balados. Skati pranto skati lakata pros skati ratos skati brandi gete balados ya. Embra kata parata kata prete gete balakata paratos koto prete gete blat. And Jesus increased in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God and with men. Men can increase, men can increase. You can increase in wisdom, you can increase in power, you can increase in grace. Shena makata branda galatos kati lakatos ibregeti balatas. The hearing ear, the seeing eye, the discerning heart, I receive tonight. Shabranda gata prati ke palakatos koto brando koto baratos ya. Few more minutes. Shikreti ke baratos kati lakata branda gata balatos ya. Ebanto shata pras kete balaka tosh kati prende kete balata shakra te kete balaka te prende kete baratos kosi prende kete. Take your eyes away from any distraction. Look to Jesus. Shani prende kete balaka ta prende kete balaka tosh. Shkate prata katosa singe te prende kete balaka tosa ti pras. Imbra katosh kala grande gete paratos kasi de gete belege de pash. She prantos kotu pras gete balaka ta pranti de paratos kotu prete gete belege ta. She prakatos kati pranda gata kos kati balaka tosh kati krete mene kete. Shata pranda gata prati gete balaka tosh kati prete gete gete balatos. She de prante ke paratos ki ata balaka tos. Hear me. At the start of this year, God gave us a prophetic word that this is the year of open doors. 
and I did teach you that there are three biblical ways we open doors. Number one is through the use of the right key. You remember that? That when you apply the right key, you can turn a door open. Number two, by knocking. You can knock a door and the person at the other side of the door can open for you. But number three, that doors can be opened by the use of force. You can use force and this one does not just open, it breaks the door. Because when you open a door after you, it can close and your children may not be able to pass. When that door is broken, everybody after you can pass. Did the Bible not say at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang and the Bible says the prisoners heard them. It says suddenly there was an earthquake. This was not a key. This was not knocking. There was an earthquake quick he shook the doors and all doors open someone open your mouth and declare all doors all doors all doors all doors, all doors. All doors. financial doors marital doors career doors ministry doors are you praying all doors open all doors open all doors open declare ye that thou mightest be justified all doors higher levels of ministry all doors let it be unto you according to the word of the lord in the name of jesus christ i call upon the god who has sent us by the power that raised christ from the dead my god will surprise you my god will surprise you some of you hear me some of you literally by this time tomorrow i stand by apakatoske help that gentleman by this time tomorrow may my god surprise you in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for direction some of you are confused that is the reason why you are stagnated when direction comes speed comes to in the name of jesus in your dreams in your visions may god give you clear directions clear directions for the next clear directions for the next season in the name of jesus christ Embrantes Kales Kavarasharas Kia Mahaskam Baratus Yetash Krakata Barakas Kafrates Kaliata Embrakata Barakata Frasta Balakata Krakata Prande Gabarakatos Koto Prande Gabarakatos Lekata Frascata Barakesh Embratas Kaparas Kopas Kanemakata Lekata Praskebash Lekos Kemash Kamarandas Kepres Kebariata Ekrotos Koto Padakata Barakata Katos Kaprakataliata Manta Prakata Barakatas Kaprategesh Raka Tapranda Gata Preska Lepos, Nekos Koto Proskotesh Alekos, Ebraska Bereskotia, Shamaskadesh, Ebrakata Prakata Parakata, Lekata Prakata Pakata Prakato Lekate, Shabaske de Berekato Prakata Balada, Manta Prakata Barekas Kaparika Soda Basiata, Ekrakata Parusiata. There are some of you. The reason why things are not going well is simply because you have not joined the right chariot. He told Philip, join this chariot. Hallelujah. And he joined that chariot and it became the salvation of the utopian Enoch. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every strategic relationship that must be introduced to your life for your rising for your making may my god bring strategic people to your life ministry relationships business relationships destiny relationships covenant relationships receive it in the name of jesus hear me there are many of you the situation you are in now 
you cannot advocate your liberty it will take somebody who is already in the palace you are joseph you have the ability to interpret dreams potential to be a prime minister but you don't have a chance to defend yourself in front of pharaoh but there is a wine presser somewhere i don't know who is already where in a place where they can speak for you and they are not speaking for you because they have forgotten you i place you in their mind by the spirit of the living god i place you in their mind may god cause them to speak for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of fear the bible says god has not given us the spirit of fear but of love power and of a sound mind it says to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage there are many of you you are not sick but the fear that is on you you get up in the morning will an accident happen you just feel something small in your body and the devil says death it is the voice of the enemy i want to silence it right now every voice that is planting fear in jesus name that voice is hereby silence forever silence forever silence forever i prophesy over you you shall not die no untimely death in the name of jesus please hear me anybody that is plotting evil against you whether kidnap or accident or sickness in the name of Jesus, let the earth open and swallow them. Let the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any charm, any coven, any satanic place in the name of Jesus that carries anything that belongs to you. I declare that the power fails instantly. Let me pray for someone who is trusting God for a job. In the name of Jesus, may Ebenezer, the helper of men, surprise you. In the name of Jesus. Every ministry here, every business that is dead or dying, everything in your hand that is dying, you are holding something that is dying. I give it life now. Let it come back to life now. Your business comes back to life. Your body comes back to life. Your ministry comes back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Whatever has taken the glory of the Lord upon your life. For Samson it was Delilah. That took that glory from him. For Gideon. Something happened and he, the least person, the least in his father's house, all those idolatry brought them to a place of subjugation. Whatever has taken the glory of God upon your life, you used to be great. You used to be anointed. You used to be favored. Something happened and you just started drying up like a tree. In the name of Jesus, may the restorer restore you tonight. I say it again. May the restorer restore you tonight. May the restorer restore you tonight. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Any door that was once opened for good, and whether by mistakes on your part, by not understanding the laws that keep doors open, or by some demonic thing, that door closed. Whether doors of favor, doors of relationship, doors into the heart of great men. I stand and call upon he that has the key of David, the one that openeth and no man shut it, and shut it and no man open it. I speak to that door, a fata be open. Be open, be open. The door to the hearts of kings, be open. The door to your destiny helpers' hearts, be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for your finances? For as long as I live, I will not only see to it that you are vibrant spiritually and growing in influence, I believe in economic empowerment where god empowers the right hands once god has a heart that loves him and that you are able to use resources to better your life and to advance the cause of the kingdom there are no restraints to him making wealth available are we together by this prayer for some of you what you'll be receiving is wisdom by this prayer what some of you will be receiving is access to the right resources 
but then in the name of Jesus I pray the Bible says believe it says and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved it says believe the Lord your God so shall you be established believe his prophets so shall you prosper I pray for you God who has shown many help God who has shown many mercy picking men from unbelievable pits and raising them to places of honor I call upon that God to surprise you in your finances no more dryness in your finances personally corporately no more dryness hear me if there is any one of you here who is owing whether as a company whether as an individual i don't care owing is owing anybody who is owing in the name of jesus christ i place an unction upon you come out of that debt now Come out of that financial situation now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the next few minutes, I want to pray over your life. Many of you will be surprised that by reason of this impartation, you will go back home and they will tell you that someone has been manifesting under the influence of spirits. You will stand and you will think it's a joke. You will say in the name of Jesus and watch those devils leave in a moment never to return. And then you will see doors open over your family members. They will call you pastor and you say i'm not a pastor they say that's that's none of our business whoever can cast out a devil like this is our pastor how about sickness there are some of you who will carry these hands that you see god has given you it's not just for eating you will carry these hands and lay it upon people and watch with wonder Growths, satanic manifestations in their bodies will just dry up like that and they will ask you what happened and you will tell them it's true that God gives gifts to men God can give gifts to men God can empower men and then some of you when the grace for favor rests upon your life I heard one of our dear sisters who was testifying here you will marvel and wonder it does not take long for this to happen you will see god moving in your life in a way that will surprise you ideas you did not think of downloaded in your spirit strategies by the spirit on what to do and what not to do all it be it by the spirit i want you to rise in one minute and you are going to pray one prayer and then i pray for you father in the name of jesus i open up my heart and i open up my spirit to receive the impartation that positions me to manifest this kingdom authority even within this end time I want to be an effective battle axe I want to be an effective believer not just one who comes to receive in church but one who one who becomes an extension of that power go ahead and pray once upon a time the disciples could not cast out spirits once upon a time the disciples could not pray for the sick once upon a time they could not enjoy and experience the blessings of the lord but something came upon them go ahead and pray take a minute to pray ladies and gentlemen a global family connecting from across the globe this is what God wants to do in this season. Dominion over unclean spirits. Bringing liberty to men. Ministering the spirit. Releasing families. Releasing captives. Dominion over sicknesses, diseases, infirmity, death. Dominion over economic financial limitations that have plagued the body of Christ. Someone pray. Please look up. Is it possible to truly walk in the experience of authority? over unclean spirits yes do you have to be a man of god to access that privilege in terms of ministry no in terms of knowing god yes 
can you have authority over sickness disease untimely death yes sir is there a grace that can enhance that reality yes sir can you walk in favor that elemental forces within your territory are compelled to bow and deliver its riches to you yes sir is there a grace that controls that possibility yes sir can men receive it yes can it be made manifest here and now yes sir i'm saying that because this is what you are about to receive so open up your spirit as i pray for you father you have placed this prophetic word in my heart for the body of christ that there is a need to come into a higher spiritual understanding and then to access the requisite grace i'm praying right now for a man of god here i'm praying right now for a businessman here i'm praying for a prophet an apostle an evangelist a pastor following from some nation where your life has been barren of the experience of what the word says should be as a result of the finished work of christ i decree and declare authority over unclean spirits receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now that from tonight in the name of jesus you will not have to bring them to joshua selman that you will stand as a priest that you are and make declarations and this grace will speak for you in the name of jesus christ number two in the name of jesus i first pray for you the sickness that will kill you may it never come near your body the sickness that will deteriorate your organs may it never come near your destiny and if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is having any planting in their body that is not by my god i command it to jump out of your life with these anointed hands may you go back and lay them on the sick and watch mighty miracles happen by the spirit in the name of jesus christ number three in the name of jesus christ the grace that quickens your mind then quickens your hand then draws men to you to make for supplies in your life in the name of jesus i place that grace on your head i place that grace on your head i speak to every financial bill that may be depressing you that is not giving you peace you are not able to sleep because there are needs that must be met this week i stand by the prophetic and the apostolic may my god raise strange help for you may my god raise strange help for you in the name of jesus hear me anyone here who may have lost in business you've lost money you've lost clients you've lost opportunity in the name of jesus i place a grace on you go back and excel for the sake of his name and for the sake of his kingdom go back and excel and there are many of you here while you sleep in the night the spirit of wisdom will come to you and open you up to strange strategies that makes for your rising in the name of jesus christ your life must change your life must change your mind must change your mind must change your life must change your life must change for the next two or three minutes 
I'm going to allow you with the Lord Jesus Christ verbalize your expectation. Please open your mouth and cry to the Lord. That which you desire him to do in this miracle service. Please pray. Someone is verbalizing his expectation. The expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. Man of God, what do you desire the Lord to do in this season where the wave of his glory, the wave of revival is sweeping from nation to nation? I repeat to you again, we are in the days of his power. We are in the days of his power. We are in the days of apostolic signs and wonders heralding the end time move of Jesus across the nations. Businessman, what do you desire that God does in this season where he's raising men and giving men the wealth of nations to frontier the purposes of the kingdom? One more minute, don't be silent. You're a man of God, I like you to declare I'm tired of doing ministry without genuine power Tired of the difficulty experience In calling many to Jesus Drawing many to Jesus Oh, for they need to come and come in their multitudes we are in the days of his power. My Bible says the people shall be willing. A few more seconds. Hallelujah. Listen, maybe one day when we have the opportunity and we're teaching, I will share with you a bit of my story and how I sought for and pursued some of these graces that God has so graciously made available today. In as much as God has granted me the privilege of encounters with Jesus, I can tell you that there are many graces that are upon my life today that did not just come from that one encounter or those encounters there were times in my life when i had to review my life with respect to god's expectation for me and i had to search by knowledge by mentorship and by revelation the graces that will be required for my efficiency i am still a seeker of those graces up until today and i began to intentionally meticulously search for the graces that are responsible for producing genuine ever increasing results i submit to you again that struggle will never end until grace comes on an individual 
many people you you can have a semblance of results you can jump and keep gyrating if the results are not there it is because the grace is not there it's as simple as that so i want you please hear me do not be distracted because i trust that by god's grace i will be speaking from the depth of my spirit and for God's sake, I'm praying that somebody will, even if it's for the first time, that you will open up your heart to carry something. Something of substance. And it doesn't matter whether you are male or female. Doesn't matter whether you are young or old. Doesn't matter whether you are sound or on sight. The most important thing is your faith. Make up your mind that ministry will not be barren again. Make up your mind that you will not be around rigma rolling as if God did not call you. Make up your mind. You're not the first to do what you're doing. It is a bankruptcy of the grace needed. And you may say, I have an anointing. Is it for the level you are stepping into? Yesterday's anointing will not command today's results. No, sir. Hallelujah. Can I start with an impartation? It's going to be a very quick walk tonight. Even if we don't have time to get to take testimonies, no problem. Let me start with an impartation. Listen to me. I want to start with impartation for ministers of the gospel. Everybody will receive, but particularly, you are, you are a minister of the gospel, let your heart be open. I want to release a grace upon you. Ministers of the gospel It's time to do this powerlessness in the church If we do not drive it away By the introduction of genuine graces The purposes of God and the program of God will suffer I call upon the God of my covenant And in the name of Jesus I declare For everyone called into ministry The mantle and the grace needed Take it now Take it now Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The grace needed for efficiency. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. If you are a prophet here, may your eyes and your ears be opened. Supernaturally. May a mantle come upon you. Male and female. May that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The healing anointing. I'm seeing fire coming on the hands of people. I don't know who you are, but drink of that fountain. In the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that fountain. A new wave of the healing anointing. A new wave of the healing anointing. I release it upon you. I, re I release it upon you. Take that grace now. Signs and wonders. I shift you into a ministry of signs and wonders. For ten signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. That through your hands the blind will see. Through your hands the deaf will hear. Through your hands cripples will walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every dimension of the gift of the spirit that is missing in your life but required for your destiny. I'm telling you, I'm seeing like candles. I'm seeing candles in the spirit and fire is coming on those candles. This is what I'm seeing. It looks like Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. That Pentecost fire, let it come upon you now. Pentecost fire, let it come upon you now. Pentecost fire with proof in your spiritual life. I'm still praying for everyone, but particularly ministers of the gospel. The spirit of revelation superior illumination into scripture I tell you men and women will teach scripture like never before the word of God will open up to you you will communicate doctrine and the mysteries of scripture with precision and exactitude receive that grace right now receive that grace the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus Christ
every altar that has been barren of power from any man or woman of God here in the name of Jesus return back to your various stations with fire return back to your various stations with fire in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord Let's do the finance one now. Father, it is your desire for your people to prosper. Even in this season. And many of them have come from situations right now where except you help and show mercy. Certain financial doors may not seem to be opened. But in the name of Jesus, you have orchestrated this service for the mysterious lifting of men. Therefore, the grace component required for your financial exploits, receive it now. Hmm. Hmm. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hear me. There are many of you by reason of this impartation, a strange order of wisdom is resting on your mind. Superior strategies, superior ideas in the name of Jesus Christ. And every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here, I don't care for how long it has been, I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Please be silent. I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now. Just be silent. You don't say you've prayed. This is the instruction God is giving me. I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies. And usually I will ask you to shout, but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent. In the name of Jesus. Father, even as you have instructed, everyone here and every family here, under the influence of wicked spirits, yokes, Covenants, aha, in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, there's there's such fire that is moving in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance for such people supernaturally. Please bring them out, whether for individuals or families, very quickly, men and women. Everything that has tied your progress, I decree and declare right now, be released. Be released, be released. Please bring them out. My God, fire is falling in this place. Shalada kafaratos kafrande baratos yata. Lata shana manakos. Bring them quickly. Ancestry, yokes of darkness. You may not even know that is the cause. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing someone like a chain around your waist. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be broken now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. It happened to your father, it happened to your mother, it happened to your siblings. The blood is speaking against it now. The apakosh ketepata, the blood is speaking against it now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please bring them out quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, 
fire upon the feet of people and the Lord is saying he's opening graves. I don't know what this means but in the name of Jesus every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry I stretch my hands fire, fire begins to burn everything that is not of God bring them out let it destroy the works of darkness. Let it destroy the works of darkness. Connected to ancestry. Connected to the spirits of the dead. Be delivered now. I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Sanakos kedila sobesha la cross kebaniata engroto so de balakusia. Every two two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now. Right now, I break that chain of that pattern of that pattern of death. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has vowed that you must die this year I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke that influence over your life and I hope you know that as you are standing here you can stand in for your loved ones too wherever they are spirit of death I speak to you you know my voice anyone whose destiny you have hijacked release them now Release them now. Release them now. Negative and demonic dreams. Seeing yourself in the past. Past schools. Writing exams that never finish. All kinds of satanic things. Everything that connects you negatively to yesterday. Be set free right now. Please help them. This apakatosh katepata. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Hear me. The Lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again. You go to bed and you see yourself doing things you had done before. Levels you have left. According to scripture, believers don't go backward. We only go forward. Every spirit drawing you back. I break you from their influence now. Let me tell you this. Hear me. I hope you know I used to have those experiences myself before. You've heard my story. As a man of God though, not just a, an, an ordinary believer, I used to have those experiences where demons would come and press me and all those things. I would shout Jesus, shout Jesus, nothing will happen. That is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people, I do it with passion because I've been a victim of oppression. Again, let me speak to someone. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have tried, and yet nothing has changed. In the name of Jesus, this night, be delivered permanently. 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 Hallelujah. Don't be tired. 
I'm seeing in a vision, this is what I'm seeing. The hands of people tied. How can a man move like this with your hands tied? How can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied? I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, let fire from heaven. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. You may even have a job, yet your hands are tied. I don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied. At the count of three, shout Jesus and your deliverance comes. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be delivered now. I break those chains. I break them from your hands. I break those chains. I break them from your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a door. And I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door. And according to the vision I'm seeing, trying to force the door to open. And some are even crying. And I'm seeing people dropping like dying. Yet that door is not opened. I believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression that doors and I believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood there are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door you can go abroad you can school like this our dear woman the professor that came to give a testimony let me open that door prophetically I taught you at the beginning of this year that there are three ways doors are open number one is by the use of the right key number two is by knocking the ministry of men but number three by force and power let me use number three because when those doors open they open from their foundations i decree and declare every generational door that has closed i stand and as an apostle of the lord jesus christ let that door be open now i break that door now i break that door now i break that door now Generational doors be open, be open, be open, Ephata, be open, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service. Hear me, you see. When a door is open or broken, the most important thing is that the right of way has been given. You will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you. In the name of Jesus, for all who are in front here, I declare prophetically that God who has located you, you have come out by the anointing, the spirits that oppress you, I declare the count of three in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God, they release you once and for all, the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit, one two, three, go go, go, release them now out of their lives never to return again in the name of Jesus the son sets them free and we declare as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, they are free forever they are free forever they are free forever in the name of Jesus please hear me I told you that I have discerned that among the many things that God is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability you see the teachings that I've been bringing these are not just teachings that are coming carelessly because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of Christ please hear me is death through sickness mysteriously people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for are we together now it is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing 
and to be able to communicate God, God's intent for his people. So this prayer for healing, we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone. You can always register your testimony, but I want to pray with you. Listen, if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick, please, as I'm praying, connect with them so that they don't die for nothing. And for those who are connecting from any hospital, our teaching hospitals, private hospitals, now is the time. It's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith. Please connect. We're, we're, we're talking now under the influence of the anointing. Lay your hands on your chest. If you have a medical report, bring it out. I'm about to pray. That devil must let you go. Must let your children go. Please place your hand right now. I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then we'll pray. Praises to your name. Oh God. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. Place your hand there. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly. We lift your name. your hand there right now and as I pray for you I shout the name of Jesus I want you to thunder a loud amen let the devil and let that sickness know I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again. I speak as one sent from God. May that spirit leave your body now. That devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe to South Africa to Kenya to Zimbabwe to Ghana to Lagos to Abuja to Joss to Kano let the healing power of God begin to flow right now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood conditions be healed now. Cancer die now. HIV be healed now. Blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now. Blind eyes partial or complete blindness we command that you open now deaf ears be open now anyone here suffering from the issue of blood I declare be healed right now 
every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body there is someone fire is coming on you there's movement all over your body you literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now there's someone you are having a problem with your heart in the name of Jesus be healed right now The Lord is showing me a woman in a vision. It started like having, you know how you have cold, maybe a flu or something, and then you lose your voice. But till now, your voice is not restored. This has this has become months. You know, most times people just take maybe lemon, warm water or something, some, you know, and and then eventually their voices, their, their, the sound returns. But for this woman, your, your, your voice refused to return back. So you speak as though you are whispering. It's a demonic thing. I restore your speaking now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman, you are laying your hands right now. You are in this place. You are laying your hands upon your daughter, your little baby. There's been a mysterious sickness. You don't even know why. She's losing appetite. She's not eating. She's not, not sucking, not doing all of that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that little baby be healed right now. Now, whether I've mentioned your case or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. The Lord is showing me a plot by darkness to take someone's father and mother the same day. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. A mysterious sickness just destroying both of them. Like in this, not accident. Like that, just, you know, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare we extend their life to its fullest. You will not lose any of your loved ones again. Therefore be healed. Be perfected. There's someone you have, your own is not heart palpitations. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm just sharing what the Lord is showing me. Your heart is not pumping blood properly. This is what is wrong with you. I may not know the, the medical name of that situation, but it makes you dizzy. It, it, um, I mean, it's, it's like the, the case that I mentioned earlier here. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. Whatever blockage is around your heart, that extends to your veins, your arteries, whatever is stopping the normal blood flow to supply oxygen to the body. In Jesus' name, we declare supernaturally, let there be healing. Let there be healing. There's someone, the Lord is showing me, every time it's, it is rainy season, you have boils come out of your body, like boils, sores, come out even, you know, various areas of your body that discomfort you seriously. I don't know who that person is, but this year, we exempt you from that experience. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now every... Many of you have cried. You have come with hearts open. You must believe. The Bible says, He that cometh unto God must believe. Hebrews 11 and 6. That He exists. And then, that He is the rewarder. Not of them who are careless around his presence. Of them that diligently seek him. You seek God carelessly, you will not find him. There is a law. Ye shall seek me and only find me when you search for me with all your heart. Please, in one minute, I'd like you to insist. I will never go back the same. Never. Never. Not with this challenge. I will never go back the same. Never go back the same. Halaba shala brada gete bakatusi. Never go back the same. How else will the nations know that I met him? I will never go back the same. When Moses encountered him, he did not go back the same. Some of you are in ministry here. Pray, I will never go back the same. That I will contact the grace that will take me to another dimension.
Some of you are in business here. I will never be the same. Politicians, career people, family people. Hallelujah. I, I saw like lightning. And when I saw it, I saw a spirit coming down. And I saw written on it anger. And the Lord said that this spirit you see has stopped many people from stepping into prophecy. And the Lord told me that when I come, even before we do any exhortation, there is a wicked spirit called anger. Many of you may not know. Anger has nothing to do with being good or bad. But it is a killer and a closer of open doors. This is koinonia. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I stretch my hands by the election of grace and I declare, everyone here and every family here that has been kept down because of the spirit of anger, right now at the count of three, in this overflow, this main auditorium, I want you to bring all of them out. All the overflows down to the basement outside from any nation at the count of three in the name of Jesus this spirit of anger it must get out of your life right now are you ready one shalakataba two three now out of their lives bring them out out of their lives every altar sponsoring the spirit of anger to destroy you it has destroyed relationships destroyed opportunities bring them out right now i decree and declare anger be gone you are a spirit 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 bring them out anger some of you is, is whole families is a spirit when you are angry you make dangerous destiny altering decisions be free right now it has nothing to do with being good or bad my brothers and my sisters the lord brought you here to set you free are you just watching or you are praying everyone pray everything that represents anger in my life my destiny i come against it by the blood of the eternal covenant Many would have been millionaires except that anger stopped them. Many would have risen to great positions. Anger, dangerous spirit. Please pray. This is koinonia. Now the Lord is that spirit. 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 And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I tell you, there is no power that is not of the Christ that will survive tonight's service. We are still praying. I still declare. Some of you are representing families. The power of God is not just coming on you for yourself. It's coming on you for your entire family. You have been kept down because of the spirit of anger. Again, I declare in the name of jesus anyone here under the captivity of the spirit of anger be delivered now 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 <laughs> For those who are in front here and all and all the overflows, I declare for those of you who have come out by the spirit here, that spirit, hear my voice. I speak by the rod of a higher priesthood. Let them go now. Leave their families now. Leave their destinies now. Leave their families now. 
in the name of Jesus. Please pay attention. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer right now. For those of you who things never stay in your hands. It does not matter what blessing comes. There is an evil spirit that takes any good thing from your life. Any good thing. You are connected to people who can lift you. You are connected to opportunities that can raise you. But nothing seems to stay. There is a grace that can bring deliverance from losses. Listen to me. He says, and I will restore the years I want to pray. Don't just come out at random. People are coming out by the Spirit. Please, this prayer, take it serious. You've lost opportunities. Some of you have lost time. You've lost resources. You've lost strategic relationships. Right now, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. That name that is above every other name. And if God be God in this house tonight, there is no power that has kept you that will survive. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I command restoration. Every devil. Help them. Help them. Bring them out. Every spirit that has stolen things from you. Help them please. My God, my goodness. Restoration, 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 restoration of spiritual fire, restoration of opportunities. Restoration. For some of you, this week will not come to an end. You will receive calls that will amaze you. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of grace. For some of you, like Samuel, you will be told that the donkey that is missing, that you have been searching, by every human connection has been found. By a mystery that only the God of heaven can explain. Please don't be distracted. The spirit of shame and reproach. Hear me? There is such a thing called shame that everything that brings dishonor and reproach, the devil ensures the, that you are there first. Then it happens. Can I pray for you? Are you tired of standing already? In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Anyone here under the sound of my voice. That there is an embargo of shame and reproach upon your life, your family, your destiny. At the count of three I want you to shout that name again. And that devil must jump out of your destiny. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. The embargo of shame. Shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus. Do you know that in the realm of the spirit, a man's destiny can be exchanged? Have you read that in your Bible? That when they wanted to kill a king, he sacrificed his own son so that he will live long. There are many people, what you are living is not your destiny. I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus. That exchangers of destiny, that have, that have exchanged a glorious destiny for one that is full of defeat. Right now, at the count of three, may fire from heaven fall upon any altar. One, two, three. 
free. Take that grace right now. Take that. In the mighty name of Jesus, every destiny that has been exchanged, let there be a restoration now. Let there be a restoration now. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But that was not his beginning. His mother called him Jabez. She bore him in shame. Can I tell you this? Please look at me. Let me tell you something about the grace for honor. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. No. Nobody can honor himself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. When the grace for honor is not upon a life, everything that is around you is shame and reproach. Hello, give my tongue night, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him at night, thy kingdom come. Hello, him at night, thy kingdom come. Hello, There's someone here you lost a loved one last week just this week that passed i know that many people this is there's so many people here but the lord is ministering to me i want to pray there is we're going to pray uh, your corporately against the spirit of death but there is a particular family i am seeing this is it's been circles of death you lost someone last week now is there such a person here very quickly I want to pray for you the lord is just putting it in my heart putting it in my spirit last week just this last week i hope you know that death is a spirit the rider upon the pale horse among the four horsemen in revelations his name is death and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime in subject to bondage the person i'm seeing is wearing a nose mask this is my visions i'm seeing something like that someone wearing a nose mask i'm still going to pray for everyone but this is what i'm seeing my dear look at me this lady where are you coming from you see what is happening to her i'm seeing coffins in front of her i stretch my hands now by the spirit of the living god and i decree every covenant i use these people i'm praying for for everyone here any covenant connecting you with the grave now i'm going to pray listen please pay attention I'm praying for these people, but I want to pray. There are some of you, you dare not go to bed in the night. The only thing you see is dead people calling you. Is the grave. The, the, the grave is a spirit. As I'm praying for them, I'm praying for you too. Every covenant connecting you to the grave. You don't have to come out, please. You just receive from where you are. I use these ones in front as a point of contact. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? I declare in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Right now, everyone here who is under the call role of the spirit of death, in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Help her. Be delivered now. 
please bring for me the two people now in this main auditorium that will shout under the anointing now i just saw light on two people please bring them i want to speak to them before we sit loud to the hearing of everybody in the name of jesus christ for all of you who are in front here i declare by the spirit of god that everything that connects you to death be delivered now everything that connects you to the spirit of death be delivered now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everything that represents witchcraft in this family be, be healed now and be delivered be delivered from everything connected to witchcraft in jesus name i pray amen and amen someone outside the overflow outside will start running please ushers hold the person or anybody there's someone who will begin to run by the spirit just hold the person i want to speak to that don't bring the person here just hold the person there outside the overflow in the name of jesus i stretch my hands the power of god is coming on someone outside you begin to run right now right now in the name of jesus help them let me speak and declare over that person help them please in the name that is above all names i declare by the spirit of god the same way you are running like this that is how you will step in with speed into the next level of your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ someone outside is going to shout loud under the anointing please bring the person to the front of their screen i want to speak to them loud under the anointing the overflow outside the power of god is coming upon that person right now mighty god there are things only god can do where then is our boasting it is he that has made us able ministers of the new covenant just keep her there in the name of jesus i declare liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit in the name of jesus the christ of god by wisdom oh god heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the seasons creating day and night turning darkness into light arranging the stars to your pleasing father may flesh never be glorified that as much as you continue to use us may the world know that we are nothing more than vessels that have been shown mercy Rejoice not over me, my enemies. There is a place where God is able to resurrect the dead. Some of you, you came here confused, no direction. You don't even know what your life is about. But you are coming here to meet with Jesus the Christ. And he's about to give you a new beginning. For some of you, men, men have beat their chest and in their arrogance... They have said, except I come in, you will not rise. Ah. Every man was a baby in the hand of a woman one day. Every man. Nobody was born an adult. Every man was a baby in the hand of a woman so by the time a man beats his chest god says is it not because you is it not when you wake up in the morning you can go back to the office and oppress people ah, the psalmist said i lay me down and i slept i waked for the lord sustained me can i tell you this the holy spirit is the holder of every life on earth including the life of arrogant people who will not fear god Water you turn into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you 
None like you Sing water you turn say Hearing a name Andrew, you are wearing like a maroon dress. You are at the back. Andrew, is there someone like that? Andrew, what's your name? Were you holding something on your left hand? Were you holding something on your left hand? I saw in my vision you were holding like a card, maybe the visitor's card or something. I want to pray for you. There is a massive wind of deliverance that is about to blow in this place right now. Deliverance means the spiritual system that separates you from every obstacle that has impeded your advancement. It's not just casting out demons. Spirits are not the only things that have to be separated from you. If you are separated from trouble, it's deliverance also. Are we together? My friend, look at me. I will pray for you. Huh? And in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. By the power of God, let there be a miracle for you right now. Let there be a miracle for you. You are also coming out. Okay, all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman. I'm about to pray, but there is a woman I'm seeing. Is it eight years now? You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I don't know who that is, whether it is in this auditorium, the overflows. But I'm seeing in my vision a woman eight years. Please make sure you are not just coming make sure you meet the exact prophetic word eight years i bless you gentlemen in jesus name please two things make sure you are married and make sure it's exactly what i said please madam how many years have you been married 15 years i said eight years but you're here just stand eight years is your husband here it's not here. You believe in Jesus that he will give you a child? Yes, I do. Hmm. Where are you from, madam? No, not no. State of origin. I can hear you. Okay, I'll pray for you. Ah, my goodness. Father, in the name of Jesus. Madam, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now! In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the end of it. Go and return with your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Listen, we are not herbalists. We fear God and our power comes from the throne. Sometimes it's good to clarify this thing so that there's no confusion at all in the name of jesus christ who is that now we don't have to madam don't cry weep not for the book is open i want to pray for you where, where are you coming from? I'm so touched by where, where are you coming from, madam? How long have you been married? Are you here alone? Where is your wife? Two of you. You see, brothers and sisters, when God reveals these things, 
it, it is not to show, I continue to say it, it's not just to show that a man is powerful. Many of these families, you know, you know how it is in Africa. When these kinds of results don't come, people can say and do all sorts of things. But there is a God who reigns in heaven. I want you to believe me that you will return with children. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's stretch our hands to them. We are also priests who are ministering. Let's declare as a family of faith. The Bible says, none shall be barren. I'd like us to declare the power that is responsible for barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ we cast it out of their lives. Regardless the medical condition, we correct it, we change it. Every closed womb be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare over you. Sir, this is you and you. Just lift up your hands, two of you. Where are you coming from? From Africa. From? I want to pray for you and your wife. Just hold your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, every ordinance, this is not even just the issue of fruitfulness, your overall progress in life. I declare by the power of the I'm looking at you and I'm seeing two of your hands tied in the spirit. There is nothing that is working. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over you and your wife. I lose you now. I lose you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and succeed, go and prosper. And in the name of Jesus Christ, hold on. Let me just do my crazy thing on stage here i'll soon let you go and sit down the lord is telling me that all of you are going to have miracles but the one with twins the anointing is coming on you now there is one of you i'm seeing twins in my vision and i'm see. i just saw like rain this is what i saw the power of god in a mighty way that one person is honestly my brothers and my sisters this thing that god does if i have my way if not that i'm under the anointing i will not embarrass myself like this in the presence of people are we together but this is what the power of god can do i saw twins and the lord said he will identify that person because his power will rest upon that person lord in the name of jesus we decree now and we declare by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ, as God has declared it, go and return with your miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. God has spoken once and in the name of Jesus there is nothing that will stop his word from coming to pass. We place that word upon you and as God has declared, let it be for you. In Jesus name I pray. Let's celebrate them as they go back. Hallelujah. I want to rebuke the spirit of delay. There is such a spirit called delay. And I want you to bring those people out. There will be a mighty move of the spirit. The spirit of delay. The spirit of delay. And while I am praying for the spirit of delay, I am seeing that there is someone, I am seeing there is madness in your family. People just keep getting mad like a, 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 a psychological, psycho, what, what's it called? You know, that issue of madness. I'm about to pray. Just bring, just bring them out. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, upon everyone here on this ground right now, if there is anyone here under the sound of my voice, that is under the influence of the spirit of delay, some of you, that's why jobs have not come. Some of you, that's why doors have not opened. Right now at the count of three, I want you to shout that name Jesus, inside, outside, following online. And at the mention of that name, the power of God will rest upon you and that devil leaves you. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command that spirit, go now. Go now. Bring them out. 
delay of all sorts. Delay in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that is responsible for delay, we come against it. We come against it. We come against it. Whether in business, in politics, in career, I come against that spirit. We are praying for people now. Hallelujah. Now we are still praying. There are families that are corporately under that influence. Some of you will travel abroad and come back and yet nothing moves in your life. I declare right now, everything that has refused to move in your life, the power that is responsible for it, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. There are many of you, your loved ones worship deities. And even though some of them have stopped, these deities may seem to have had a legal ground over your life. But my Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. I want to declare your final deliverance. If there is anything, Parus Kadebara, territorial deities planted to the earth, that may be the reason why people do not rise. Right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, at the count of three, may fire locate those people and fall upon them now. One, two, three. Take that fire. 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 It's time for you to move forward. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to prophesy your advancement. I move forward by the Spirit of the Living God. Are you praying in the name that is above all names? I make progress, I move forward. No power keeps me down. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Please be sensitive. There is a spirit called failure at the edge of breakthrough. Have you heard it? That your eyes will always see it, and when your hand is about to touch it, something happens. I want to pray for you right now. Father, anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a family pattern that makes people to see good things but never handle it. My God, my God, I'm seeing the power of God rest on people. Let them not go. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I declare deliverance right now. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. One, two, Three, shout Jesus. Every pattern, every pattern over your life that makes you rise and go down. Every pattern comes under judgment now. Under judgment now. Under judgment now. Now listen to me. We are praying. Every time a good thing is about to happen to you, there a vision comes or a dream. You are in primary school or you are in secondary school, writing an exam that you never pass, or someone comes to molest Fire is coming on those altars right now. Father, at the count of three, everyone here being manipulated from the spirit realm. I declare by the rod of the higher priesthood, let there be deliverance now. One, two, three, let fire come on you now. Let fire come on you now. Every strange spirit manipulating your destiny be delivered now. Ela 
The realm of the spirit is a very powerful realm. Someone will vow to help you, vow to lift you. This man, that man holding on the chair, I don't know who that man is, sir. Please lift your hands. I just saw something like a chain all over you, and the Lord is saying that you should I should lose you. I stretch my hands to you. I don't know you, sir. But in the name of Jesus Christ, every chain that has held you be delivered now. 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 The Lord is asking me to break the power of patterns. Every year at the same time something happens. This has been so. Either death or sicknesses. Some is rainy season, some is dry season. Repetition, some is after two, two years. After three, three years, someone must die. Or every year, right now in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice. If there is any pattern over your life and your family, help them please. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, that pattern is broken right now. One, two, three. I break that pattern now. I break that pattern now. Patterns of death, patterns of failure, be broken now. Please pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. There are families here, the only way you eat is by serving others. Anything that will take you to the top, there is a spirit that will always bring you down. I don't mean serving like value, becoming a slave. The only way. And the Lord is asking me to deliver families here. Where the man is the woman and the woman is the man. The man is the woman and the woman is the man. In terms of responsibility and supplies, everything comes from the woman. I decree by the spirit of the living God. Don't be tired of receiving. I speak over your life. Every pattern again I repeat that is not of God at work in your life. That devil that is behind it, they catch fire now. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Hallelujah. Who is Gloria? I'm hearing a name, Gloria. Gloria. Marvelous God. Gloria. Gloria. In a few minutes, the grace for speed is going to be resting in this place. Gloria. Every altar, hear me, the Lord is speaking about the Gloria. America people, I can pray for you and then you go back and continue your work. But in the name that is above all names, I don't know why the Lord sent for you. I'm just seeing fire moving in front of the stage here. Everyone here under the yoke of witchcraft that will not let you go. In the name of Jesus, Mate Pratus Ketele Kepa, Skanabaka Rekatus Ketia, Enkrete Kepa Ruta Kata, Paru Zepia, may fire come upon you now. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar sitting on your destiny, this is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered now.
wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name and that at the mention of that name every knee must bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord Madam, this woman, come this one where are you from? Where are you from, madam? From Benway State. Benway State. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Hi. I command every devil. Don't be embarrassed. I'm not a prophet of doom, okay? But I'm seeing a snake just walking over you. Like head to toe, head to toe again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil let her go now let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go now help her please let her go now I'm seeing a serpent this is what I'm seeing just moving left and right he gave us authority over snakes and scorpions and over every power of the enemy Hallelujah. Hmm. Now I'm seeing a vision that I usually don't see very often. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. This is Kogi. The moment I begin to pray, those from that region usually, I don't know why God does that. The power of God begins to come on them. Bring them now. In the name of Jesus. This is what I'm seeing. Deliverance. I'm seeing Kogi State. Kogi State. Kelatari Kato Shadikata. Kogi State. Pareketo Shadikata. Oh, there are altars I'm seeing. Sitting on men's destinies. Will not allow men rise. But I come by the road of a higher priesthood. By this revelation. Everyone connected to that territory. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Be delivered now. Halanda Sada Prakadibora These things are signs and wonders. The Lord does it to bring glory to his name. Halash Kadabrandeke Barusiata. My eyes are open again. The Lord is still showing me that vision. And I'm seeing the light of, going, of God going from Kogi state. I am seeing Emo state. Emo state. Right now, I'm seeing the power of God here resting just Emo state. I declare now. Help them. Everyone who is connected to that territory and is under any demonic influence. Your liberty comes for you now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, can I talk to you? Please come. I don't know you. I don't know anything about you, but come. Your life is about to change. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? From Anambra State. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing stroke. The devil wants to bring stroke on your life. This is what I'm saying. To paralyze the entire one side of you. Stroke. This is a demonic thing. Number two. I'm seeing that by next month, the devil had planned bringing a serious attack on your finances. That everything will just go down mysteriously in a way that nobody will be able to understand. I want to pray for you. And the dream you have and you see dead people, I want to pray for you. You are together? Okay. I want to pray for you. Father, every... Ah! I'm praying for you and yet I'm seeing the power of God on your wife. In the name of Jesus Christ. You see, you are praying for husband and it's in, in my vision is your wife I'm seeing under the power of God. Right now in the name that is above all names, I declare the yoke of bondage over this family. Breaks now! Breaks now! Breaks now! Ah. 
Paruske de Bleketoski at Abarakatoshia. I just saw fire just moving the length and the breadth in the name of Jesus. I burn everything, every chaff that is not of God. Give way now in the name of Jesus. Every bondage that the devil is planning related to your profession, I declare deliverance right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. How many of you believe in miracles? The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing things being removed from the stomach of people. I don't know what it is. This is what I'm seeing. This is in my vision now. I'm seeing something just coming out. Some is growths, fibroids that are being removed right now as I'm speaking. The power of God is resting on those people one by one by one. For others is growths, all kinds of lumps. I'm about to pray for the sick shortly. But in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that for all those that God is showing me right now, wherever you are located in this auditorium or around, I stretch my hands. May fire from heaven. Mm. May fire from heaven. May fire from heaven rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray for the sick. Listen, I believe in the healing ministry. Before Jesus Christ returns, there will be an escalation of the power of Jesus to heal and to deliver in a way and a proportion that we have never seen. I believe that with all my heart. Because the word of God says so. And fathers who have gone ahead left it as a prophecy. And we ourselves who by the privilege of God's grace is granted the power to walk in this. We bear witness that these speakings are true. I want to pray for you right now. Here's what we are going to do very quickly. Some of you just under the anointing, even whilst the service came, the power of God has already touched you. But I'm going to pray for the sick. I truly believe in miracles. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Everywhere. Inside, outside. Just help those under the anointing. Miracles are happening now. For those, for those, if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest as a point of contact. You can also stand in for loved ones. You heard the testimony of the dear lady. All overflows. And you who are following, watching from whatever TV station or your homes via internet i like you right there where you are connect by faith believe jesus we come in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i want you to believe it will happen in a moment in a twinkling of an eye just take your eyes away from the sickness some of you have all kinds of death sentences before you take your eyes away from it i want to pray right now agree with me as i pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A gentleman is going to run out now by the power of God. The moment that happens, the healing power of God will begin to move. Honestly, I don't know why God does these things, but these are signs and wonders. A gentleman, the power of God will rest upon him literally. He will begin to run. Just hold him so he does not injure himself. This is the sign that the Lord gives me to trigger the flow of the healing power of Jesus. Father, thank you. The, the my, a mighty, very mighty anointing will just rest upon a gentleman and the moment that happens the healing power of jesus will begin to move and for that gentleman it's not just resting on you for nothing help them please quickly now we can pray please help them the ministry of signs and wonders is a fearful ministry right now in the name of jesus every devil and every spirit that is behind infirmity 
in the name of Jesus, I command that that spirit leaves you now. Help them, please. Help them, my God. Right now, in Jesus' name, be healed. Be healed. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed now. Anyone under, anyone sitting on a wheelchair or on crutches, lift it up now and begin to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift it up now and begin to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ, blind eyes be open now. Whether partial blindness or total that blindness be healed now. Deafness of any sort, one or both ears, be healed now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone, I don't know if it's, it's a swelling, I don't know if it's goiter or something around your throat. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lower abdominal pain. I'm seeing lower abdominal pain. The Lord is healing that person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Breathing problem. I don't know specifically what it is, but I'm seeing you have problem breathing. In fact, this problem makes you snore seriously when you are asleep. You snore in a way that it doesn't matter what position. Very heavy snoring. The power of God is resting upon you now. I'm seeing a woman who are a bit elderly. I'm seeing severe pain just around the lumbar vertebra here the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now you came with a sick person you are outside you are in the overflow outside i don't know if it's um now don't be embarrassed i don't know if it's hiv or so but i'm seeing the power of god touch that person right now every blood condition here that needs to be changed in the name of Jesus we change it now we change it now heart palpitations is being healed now the Lord is healing heart palpitations I'm seeing someone I don't know what it is but it's like they diagnose something inside your head I don't know if it's a growth or something um, that is inside your head and for one that I'm seeing at the back of your eyes I'm not a doctor forgive me if I don't get it right but it looks like there is something swelling at the back of your eyes I hope I'm saying the right thing but in the name of Jesus right now may the power of God touch you supernatural miracle right now there's, there's a gentleman I'm seeing your wrist I don't know what happened but there is severe pain around your wrist the power of God is touching you right now right now I'm, I'm seeing th this is a very interesting case God is showing me there's someone you are losing your teeth gradually gradually one by one I, I don't know if is that your mouth is is I, I, I don't know what the condition is but um, you are beginning to lose your teeth there is a miracle supernatural miracle that is happening to you right now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone your chest was hit i think in a dream you were sleeping and there was an impact on your chest from that day when you woke up you've been falling sick recurrently and even with chest pain in the name of jesus be healed now are we still together asthma be healed now God is healing asthma. Someone who is being healed will shout a loud shout. Not just, not amen, but I'm seeing that's how that person's healing is coming. Asthma. Harasuke sheleke prondaske dibe akata. Krete segete balaku siata. God is healing asthma. Severe migraine. Especially in the night. Pounding migraine on your head. Be healed right now in Jesus name. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. You are not on any weight loss uh, program or any diet, but you have started losing weight no matter what you eat. This has even got you concerned. 
because you are emaciating people are even looking at it they think you are fasting but you are beginning to get concerned very significant weight loss and it has nothing to do with dieting or whatever it is this is a demonic thing because from what i'm seeing i'm seeing that there is something wrong with your liver in the name of jesus christ wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now help them please help that person in the name of jesus christ a miracle is happening to you right there where you are now there are people following it's amazing do you know how many people connect from hospitals there are several hospitals right now and bless god for the kinds of doctors and nurses and and you know medical practitioners that we have because sometimes they know that this situation is beyond the issue of medicine they know that this is a demonic thing so i'm praying for those who are connecting any patient right now from the hospital world over you are following every death sentence on you by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus i bring you life and healing now life and healing now by the power of the holy spirit hear me every malfunctioning organ here in this place right now i declare be healed in jesus name there's someone at the back you are close to the door the power of god is touching you you are close to one of these doors i'm seeing the power of god touching that person and the lord is taking something out of that person's life in the name of jesus be healed now anyone here having high blood pressure or low blood pressure how many of you know that they are all evil whether high or low i don't know what kind of thing is that whether it's high is bad low is also bad whichever category but especially high blood pressure there are many many people right now as they are they do not even know anyone here young or old you are under the influence of high blood pressure in jesus name we command your blood pressure to go down to normalcy sugar diabetes in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now i'm seeing someone they had performed a surgery on you something i don't know if it was appendicitis but from that time you have not been yourself again i think they, they maybe you know remove the appendix or something but i'm seeing there's been severe pain you can't even sit down uh, you know and and press that side there's severe pain right now as i'm speaking the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus now the lord is showing me two women we'll be very fast about this the lord is showing me two women i'm seeing that you gave birth through cs and from the time you get back through cs every time you bend there is a very sharp pain all through your lower abdominal region in the name of jesus as i'm speaking right now after the prayer i want you to check it that devil leaves your body now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now everything god put in the human body he gave it boundaries you are not allowed to move any the only thing that can move everywhere is blood and that's to carry food oxygen they tell us but demons flow through these things and they move everywhere from your head and the rest anything that is a stranger in your body and is loitering up and down causing you pain and organ malfunctions this night it comes to an end now yes sir now receive these prophetic words anyone here trusting god for a job in the name of jesus i pray for you some of you between now and next sunday not next not next week between now and next sunday i call upon the god of my covenant may you return with jobs that will surprise you Please receive it prophecy is powerful number two i pray for you any door that has refused to open and you know it needs to open for the next level of your destiny whoever is sitting as a gatekeeper i will not let that door open we clear them out of the way in the name of jesus christ 
Hear me? Anybody holding what belongs to you and has refused to release it, in the name of Jesus, we overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn until it gets to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace. Hear me? Every helper of your destiny who has been ignoring you until now, I place an anointing upon you. This week, they have no rest till they get up and attend to you. I want to pray for you. There are some of you like Mordecai. You have helped many people from destruction and you have not been rewarded. Mordecai helped the king and they still left him on the ground at the gate. But the Bible says that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. I pray for you. Anybody you have helped and the season of reward has come and they have refused to attend to you. This night by prophecy, I open the book of remembrance. I open the book of remembrance. May the mercy of God locate you for your lifting. Let me pray for those due for promotion. The Bible says promotion does not come from the east, the west, or the south. Indeed, it comes from the north. Mount Zion, the side of the north. The Bible calls it the city of the great king. I pray for you. All of you who are due for promotion, in the name of Jesus, may my God, who is also your God, may he surprise you. Listen. Promotion does not mean giving you another rank. Promotion means another level. Anyone here who came with any point of contact, whether your credentials, whether documents, whether whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, I declare them anointed. I declare them anointed. I declare them anointed. Let me pray for all who are in business here. You are in business provided your business is legitimate and is scriptural. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare, may grace from heaven that brings for increase, for influence, for visibility, may it rest upon the works of your hands. I pray for those who are in politics and governance by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I announce to you by the spirit of grace, let this be your season of lifting. Yeah. Believe me, these are not empty words. Let this be your season of lifting. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to release a grace on anyone here who is in ministry or is called in the fivefold ministry. There are many, many people who are called into the fivefold ministry, but there has not been that activation of the grace and the oil wherever you are i stretch my hands god of heaven prophetic mantles right now in the name of jesus everyone called into the prophetic help them the eyes that see the ears that hear may that grace i activate prophetic fountains in the name of jesus accuracy in perception in the name of Jesus. There are people here, based on your divine assignment, you should be carrying certain anointings, healing anointings, anointings for the sick. Where are they, oh God? Please help them. Right now, anyone here who should carry the mantle for healing, I stretch my hands. May the power from heaven, let it... In the name of Jesus, healing grace, healing fountains, healing mantles, take that grace. Healing grace. I say it again, go back and meet the sick in your homes, in your environment. Get them out of those dead beds. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are people here, the mantle for leadership has been looking for you. Mantle for leadership. I want to pray for you. Anyone here 
who should carry that grace for leadership whether you are aware or not i stretch my hands wherever you are within this auditorium and outside may that grace locate you now carry that grace for leadership carry that carry that grace for leadership There are kingdom financiers that God is raising in this end time. Financial apostles indeed. People who understand the purpose of the wealth of the kingdom. Help them please. More than just self-aggrandizement. More than just I'm getting a car or a house. That's not the purpose for wealth. In the name of Jesus, everyone here who must take up that mantle, I can tell you there is a mantle for wealth. I decree and declare wherever you are in Sapakatoshketeperekatia, may that grace rest on you now. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Let it open strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus. I want to release a grace for access and visibility hear me it's one thing to have the value whether spiritual whether whatever it is there are many gifted people looking at me here and following but you see there is a grace that makes men identify you and give you visibility so that you will find expression the bible says neither do men light a lamb there are many anointed people here but the grace to locate you for as long as samuel did not carry that oil david even though he was killing the lion even though he could lead israel he remained in the bush the grace for visibility takes men from the bush and it puts you where you belong i have tasted of that grace i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead anyone here who should rise to visibility for people to see what you carry so that you can represent God in your assigned territory may that mantle rest on you now may that mantle rest on you now my God fire is burning here just be patient what you are receiving will bless you are you ready for speed now oh there is a grace for speed there really is a grace for speed you don't have all the time for everything i stretch my hands koinonia i speak to you marie's hotel from today take the grace for speed the mantle for speed the mantle for speed the grace for speed speed in business speed in ministry speed in career 10 years in one month i release it upon you now every man needs destiny helpers to rise in life no matter how grace you are even jesus needed john the baptist to announce him I desire to you to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us i want to call your destiny help us by prophecy father everyone here because i sense in my spirit that there are people who are in strange seasons in their lives this is what i sense you are coming to the end of a season and you are connecting with a greater one but if there is no helper of destiny you can remain there and recycle seasons again i pray for you from the north to the south the east to the west within this nation and outside of this nation wherever the helper of your destiny is i command them to appear now everything that has died in your life business or whatever endeavor including your spiritual life i call upon jesus who is the resurrection and even the life let there be resurrection to every dead thing now 
Dead organ, hear the word of the Lord. Dead vision, hear the word of the Lord. Dead families, hear the word of the Lord. Dead marriages, hear the word of the Lord. Dead businesses, hear the word of the Lord. Dead prayer lives, hear the word of the Lord. Let me pray for you. Any wrong association that makes Jesus look unserious to you. How many of you know that there are associations that is almost a taboo to love Jesus? Anything that requires you leaving Jesus to get it is not worth your time. Are we together? Therefore, I pray, let there be a divine editing on all your relationships. We are almost done. If the spirit of death is eyeing any family here, you know, hold on. I hope you know whenever it seems as though when we get into the second half of the year, from August now into, they call it the um, ember months, September, it looks like there is a trend, especially in this nation. People who have no business dying, accidents that don't make sense. Every blood sucking spirit around the road within this city waiting eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood we decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead there is no place for you this time around you have no covenant with death the same way you saw the second half of the year you will see the end of the year this issue of finances is making many people to leave god in this season people don't pray again they don't fast they don't love god because of this economic thing there are there are different levels of wealth there is wealth that comes by providing value are we together now you provide your value to a targeted consumer base and you are reward and you are rewarded for it that's that's it that's a, a, a level of wealth there is wealth that comes as a re reward for changing lives and impacting people it's called transformational wealth you don't sell that value you give it free but because it is value it is still mandated that you be rewarded but there is a third dimensional wealth called sovereign wealth is wealth by prophecy and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was he preserved he says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe in his prophet so shall you prosper i stand by the privilege of the election of grace and i prophesy over your finances anyone who is in any financial pit right now come out of it now come out of it now whether personally or corporately come out of it now I call for the mystery of the raven that brought bread to Elijah at Brook Cherith. May strangers you do not know, may you collide with them at the gates of destiny. May they be used marvelously by God to wipe your tears. Hear me. Anyone here that there are bills sitting on your neck and it will not give you rest. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood this night. In the name of Jesus, may my God shift systems and structures to bless you. Everything that has made God, Jesus Christ, to not be a priority to you. Don't forget, we are not just speaking so that people who have money and cars. We are a very spiritual people who love Jesus with passion and with zest and with zeal and if you're connected to this ministry and this vision you must love jesus we are not just some carnal people out to just we teach and communicate the whole counsel of god the highest being your passion and your fire for god can i pray for you in the name of jesus the average faithful person in this house should be serious spiritually you have to take god seriously all this one leg in and one leg out is time to be serious 
the fire that must come upon your prayer altar as an individual and as a family may that fire rest upon you now what study fire the grace to sit down and study scripture not just to get a sermon but to know god and to learn and to grow to be equipped with intelligence that gives you dominion to excel and represent the purposes of the kingdom may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus and by the spirit of grace i release you into supernatural living hallelujah some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you i just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree i speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show forth from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you I command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of Jesus Christ for some of you that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of Jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report is a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are impotent as a man in the name of jesus I change that medical report now. I change that medical report now. There are some of you what you are lifting is your project, not just your school project, job project, whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon. In the name of Jesus, I command all those who will supervise you to favor you. There are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth help us to your life now i call forth help us to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now 
I mend that home right now. For some of you, what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body. They say you don't have this, you don't have that. This is absent in your body. Whatever should be in your body and is not, in the name of Jesus, I call for a replacement now. For some of you, what you are lifting is your ATM card, your checkbook, or your phone as a sign. In the name of Jesus, I declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the Lord God of heaven. Let it surprise you. Let it surprise you. Let it surprise you. I pray for every ministry represented here. Whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels, that souls will not be saved through your ministry, that lives will not be changed. In the name of Jesus, I release an anointing upon you now. I release an anointing upon you now. Go and do exploits in the name of Jesus. Anyone in business here, I prophesy to you, I don't care what your business has looked like. Between now and the next two months, may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you. I say it again. Between now, 60 days from today, in the name of Jesus, enter a strange dimension of results. Hallelujah. I'm praying for people here who are trusting God to give them properties. If you have the faith for this prayer, watch my God surprise you. I decree and declare that between now and half of the year, you may not even have up to 1,000 naira in your account now. But in the name of Jesus, I put properties in your hands. I put properties in your hands. Let them mock you and see what God can do. I put properties in your hands. I pray for every student here. If there is any result that is not your own, that you are carrying something you know i don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of jesus by the ministry of angels i command a strange change of results a strange change of results a change of results a change of results Hear me. I want to pray for those who are not doing well. You have done your best. It's as if there is an embargo on your mind. You are not lazy. You study. You enter the exam hall and everything evaporates. When you fail, you now remember. Take note. Something will happen to you now. I decree and declare. Let an anointing right now. I'm feeling it on my own head. A strange anointing. Receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise I stand here and I answer his prayer. Anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry, over his dead body for you to rise, may that prayer be answered now. May that prayer be answered now. Every devil, every wizard, every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you, I command the earth to open and swallow them.
listen just follow me few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the harbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them I know you don't like what I'm saying. Don't mind me. Just let me finish praying. I say again that every territory, whether a village, whether a town, where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men, that you do your best but you never move forward, I command a sword of vengeance tonight. I command a sword of vengeance tonight. Whoever has ignored you and trivialized the hand of God upon your life in the name that is above all names, let there be a strange unction on you tonight. An unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here. Listen, this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break. I believe in family. I believe in honor. One of the things the devil is doing is walking and tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife. They get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives. I'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names every family in koinonia here that is shaking the devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family i curse them right now in jesus name <laughs> hallelujah if there is anyone called barring you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child not tomorrow tonight your baby begins to manifest in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let me pray for influence we're rounding up i believe in influence don't reject it don't fight it don't join people in the false sense of spirituality to cheat you. Influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances. I decree and declare, wherever you find your place, I command you to rise above your equals. Rise above your contemporaries. As a lecturer, rise above your equals. As a banker, rise above your equals. As a student, rise above your equals. They will seek counsel from you. They will look for the word of the Lord from your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for our finances. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We walk through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. Listen. Listen. We are not naive about what value there are astute business people in this ministry there are multi-millionaire business people in this ministry we are not in ignorance as to the fact that you can bless people and they can see what you have done people bless me every day because they perceive that i've been a blessing to them but there is the finger of god where for no known reason if if I've been nice to you, you can say, Ah, Apostle, you changed my life.
take time nara there is a reason why you blessed what you see that i didn't sell anything to you i just took out time to change your life and you blessed me if you employ me and i work for you i gave my time and my value so in return you give me a salary is that true but when the finger of god comes please hear me there will be no reason no reason except for the fact that jacob i love esau i hated you can be sitting down and god will raise somebody to rise up listen not only bless you once but say i want to make this an addiction a habit to bless you are you hearing what i'm saying yes you have seen the money that came through your skill congratulations where is the one that came through the finger of god you should be able to look at your finances and know that this 10 naira came because i got a good job thank god for that this one came because i blessed a life i paid a graduate a student school fees now he's working and he has come back to say thank you this one came because i have a child the child has become responsible and he has come back to say mama na go day but show me the one that came from the finger of god that you know this one lord i can't explain how this one came i don't even know the name of the sender i just saw one name or two names the finger of god you see the problem we're rounding up with the body of christ we fight what we don't understand and what we understand we trivialize it why is god doing this thing it's not just because we are money mongers and everybody is talking money no god is doing this thing as an act of his sovereignty to aid your reaching your goals fast so you can have time for him are we together now you can see that cgc is doing a lot of work by the way um, I, I didn't even plan with them every single one should be part of this project cgc you can see this 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 is a ministry that has been such a blessing to us and honestly i didn't even plan this with any of them i've not even seen the pastor as i just said this now everybody should be a part of this i know what the ministry koinonia will do i know what as a person i will do i'm encouraging you you can see our daddy prof or maybe the protocol people after the service and you can discuss with them how do i get my seed ten thousand twenty thousand hundred thousand a million whatever amount and say look i want my seed to be here by the grace of god they are not looking for money to do this god has been faithful and they have been you can see the items that there is just i'm sure because of this program they decided to suspend what they are doing i'm just using an opportunity to tell you whoever you are make sure that you find a way of participating in this but let me tell you this there is the finger of god and i want to pray this because some of our families nobody even went to school so there is no issue of saying lord give them a job you see mama of 70 years which financial intelligence are you going to tell her that our rewards in life all that thing you are talking she's just looking at you what are you saying my son i am dying here a landlord a young boy of 25 wants to disgrace a woman of 70 years by nine o'clock tomorrow mama get out of my house and she says please help me that one you don't need a financial seminar you need the finger of god this is where most of our families are lift your hands let me pray for you i have seen this in my life the finger of god was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life the finger of god was designed to come through for you quarter to shame i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus christ beginning from this night and all through this weekend by men you do not know and by those you already know even if they have helped you before i command strange wealth by the finger of god i command strange wealth by the finger of god i prophesy to you right now listen i want you to believe me in the name of jesus a stranger you do not know you don't even know how he got your account number i compel them by the spirit to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the course of this prayer and fasting, a strange woman just called. She sent me a text and said, You don't know me, but I'm a businesswoman. 
am I talking with apostle? I said, yes. I thought she wanted me to pray for her. And he said, the Lord spoke to me that there is a seed that I should sow half of it to you, half of it to the ministry. I said, madam, no, I don't do this. I want to make sure people work with revelation. Why do you want to do this? Have you discussed this with your husband? And she said, sir, with all due respect, I'm a businesswoman. I'm not a little child talking. I have children that are adults. So if I'm making a decision, I know what I'm doing. I said, I'm so sorry, ma. Okay, I prayed for her and sent her the text. When I saw the alert of what this woman sent, I sat down and I said, God, what is this? What is this? Madam, do you listen to Koinonia? No. Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever, Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever prayed for you? No. Did I bless you in any meeting? No. Say the finger of God. See, most of us are used to suffering and hardship. We don't ever believe strangers can bless us. If I say, may God make your boss or your uncle, you say it makes sense. Because there's one money that I'm waiting for. Do you know me as a person? I have seen the account number of people in dreams. And God asked me to bless them. They were just sitting and they saw alerts. They don't even have my number to call me. It's just pure obedience. The same thing God has done for people towards me. Not everybody is disobedient. God has not yet directed them to you. That's why they've not responded. I pray again. Father, I cry to you. This grace that you have put upon this ministry of strange supplies by the finger of God, I declare, let it come upon everyone now. Every department, from prayer department to worship team, ushers, welfare department, every worker in this house every member in this house those following from every nation strange favor in the name of jesus now please drop your documents just keep your hands let me pray for your spiritual life please take note i want to pray because of what will happen i want to pray something must happen to your prayer life something must happen to your access to light something must happen to the grace for miracles and signs and wonders something must happen to your church something must happen about the gift of the spirit some of you have not seen it in your life i want to pray for you please just guide the people whether or not um you are an usher please because of what happens when i pray this kind of prayer please Whoever is under the anointing close to you, just help, just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Lift your hands, I want to pray. One minute. I long to see you that I might impart my God. Look at, I'm seeing flames. This is what I'm seeing all over, right to the back. Flames. Lord Jesus, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, the anointing, the grace for prayer and supplication. There has to be someone it is looking for. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Take it now. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Inside, outside, overflow. One, two, three, four, five. Online. I release that grace. Enter a new dimension of prayer. A new dimension of fasting. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Lift your hands. Mm. I pray for you. You see, the seeing eyes and the hearing ears belongs to the Lord. God must give you the eyes of an eagle. The eyes that can see beyond just the letters. I pray for you. Fire will come upon your eyes. I command, may your eyes be open to the spirit of revelation. Insights to scriptures. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The gift of the spirit was given to the body of christ the gift of the spirit we no longer respect it and so we are not established i want to pray for you whether it is the revelatory gift whether it is the utterance gift whether it is the power gift i tell you i feel fire in my hands 
I stretch my hands. Lord, where are they? Everyone who needs an activation of the gift of the Spirit, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, like rain from heaven, let it fall upon you. One, two, three. Take that anointing. I command the gift activated now. The gift of prophecy. Step into that dimension. The eyes that can see. I open you up to visions. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the fivefold ministry. And the grace is not yet sure. You are not clear. Tonight I pray. May an unction come upon you. That you will know you are called. May an unction come upon you. Sister, may an unction come upon you. Brother, may an unction come upon you. I call for the Catherine Kuhlmans. I call for the Emmy Semple McPherson's. I call you by the Spirit. I call for the John G. Lakes. I call for the William Samos. God's generals of our generation. Hear the clarion call in the Spirit. I call you forth in the name of Jesus. Everyone in your family that has not given his life to Christ, hear me. If there is any unbeliever, it could be your father, it could be your mother. I declare, may the angel of the Lord bring strange conviction to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whether they are Christians or not, I pray that multiplied visions until they give their lives to Christ. Every loved one who is far from here but connected to you, whether they are outside this country or they are within this country, the same power you are receiving tonight, I declare may that same power come upon them. The same result that your life will command tonight, may that same result be given to them. One last prayer and we're done. Whatever has closed the gate of speed, speed in marriage, speed in achievement, speed in establishment for brothers in the name of jesus in this year of signs and wonders believe me between now and june i'm speaking a word of prophecy to someone achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years between now and june 2018 achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years There are people, as I'm talking now, you are not in any relationship. But August will not meet you a single lady. In the name of Jesus. There are young men, as it is now, you don't have up to 2,000 naira in your account. But in the name of Jesus, by June this year, you will be having six, seven figures in your account. If there is anyone here called jobless, between now and the end of, whether you applied for the job or not, I prophesy to you, get a job and be established. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. My head. I thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Everyone keep standing. The name of what you give that buys money 
is what the Bible calls true riches. True riches. It is true riches that can purchase unfaithful mammon. And alongside with it, buy every other thing. The peace, the joy, the influence. Are we together? There is something in this kingdom that buys every other thing. On earth, this looks like the highest, most valuable thing. When you possess this, you can make any noise and ramble and talk rubbish. But in the kingdom, there are realities that we possess. Listen carefully. And the Bible says, with it, everything, whether this, whatever it is, you can possess this. It's called the true riches. There are seven of this spiritual capital. One of them is called light. We buy things with light. The power, light is capital in the spirit. The anointing is capital in the spirit. 